morning, Elena. It's uh, Friday the 20th of August, and we're here actually one of the quite an exciting discovery. We're obviously work building on the tram extension down to Newhaven, and we're doing a very good job at it. But there was obviously a tram before, and one of the research questions of the tram uh, project was actually trying to understand and find evidence of the original Victorian and Edwardian trams network, and we have found it. Behind me, if you can look just over here, to my, over my left shoulder, we've got two large winding uh, wheels. Uh, these are part of the 1888 uh, cable network of the tram. It's the second uh, reiteration of the tram. The first one was horse-drawn uh, trams. The second one was effectively a cable tram system, very similar to what you might see in San Francisco today. The cable network basically extended all the way across Edinburgh and, uh, and down to Leith. But by the turn of the 20th century, electrification came in. And where we're standing here is also important in two points, not only in terms of the tram history, but also in terms of the history of Edinburgh. To my right, as you can see by the bar, uh, obviously across the says it's, it's on the boundary between what was Leith over here and Edinburgh over here. So in 1920s, up to about 1920s, what you had in the first few decades of the 20th century is a cable system coming up to here and an electrification system uh, uh, certainly in the 1910s and 20s over here and it led to what was called the pill rig muddle where actually people had to get off one tram here which was cable and go across onto electric uh, system in this direction. This was obviously resolved with the merger of Edinburgh and Leith in the 1920s and in 1922, almost 100 years ago, 99, uh, 100 years ago next year, the first through tram was actually built. The electric through tram uh, was undertaken in June of that year. That's great, thanks John. I'm now down in the inspection pit for the uh, tram uh, winding wheels. Now you can see obviously in front of me a massive uh, steel uh, winding wheels, one of two, one of a pair, one just behind me. It's roughly about eight, just over eight feet in diameter. Uh, actually cast in two halves, you can just see the scales of engineering that had to be put into this mechanism. So basically the, the cables go either side of it and they're winding up and down. But it's also quite to the, you know, with Garda obviously excavating this site at the moment. They're coming up with uh, some interesting features, just making some mod cards of how they actually operate. So, so just move away from these very large uh, wheels, winding wheels. Now, we've obviously we've got evidence of the structure itself and how it was actually operating. Now, obviously the roof, the roads is probably about this level up here. The roof probably maybe about here. So we've got evidence obviously of early electricity cables. Uh, fuse boxes in here, um, obviously probably for internal lighting. These probably date to the obviously the mid 20th century. Um, also, we've got some mod cons. We've got a nice uh, tap here for obviously cleanliness and maybe, who knows brewing a cup of tea. But we haven't found any evidence for the, the kettle or anything. But also behind us, how they got in, there was actually through a manhole just over here to right. You just see the, the evidence of the steps uh, coming down. Now, guard will be. Uh, excavating this over the next few days and the aim is to try and retain uh, take these wheels out and look at them in more detail. That's great, thanks so much John. Thank you. Thanks.